using technology to try to trick Massachusetts drivers. The I-Team uncovered a common practice that could cost you big time. The I-Team's Lauren Lemanchek now on how to protect yourself. College student Morgan Andrews needed a car to get from her home in Plymouth to Bridgewater State. She had her heart set on this 2010 Ford Escape. It'd be good in the snow. It wasn't too big. The biggest thing was low miles. At just 47,000 miles, the car fit the bill perfectly. But the I-Team discovered it wasn't so perfect after all. Wow. Morgan and her dad were stunned when the I-Team oh, showed yeah. them service records that reveal the odometer on the car jumped from 65,707 back to 47,049 miles a few months before she bought it. A difference of more than 18,000 miles. It's fraud. Odometer fraud is a huge issue nationwide, but especially here in New England. Chris Basso is a spokesperson for Carfax, a company that tracks vehicle histories through service and sales records. They estimate 40,000 cars in Massachusetts have potentially had their odometer rolled back. A felony under federal law. Something is going on in Massachusetts. People aren't looking out for it. They're being duped. Part of the reason, according to Basso, is the myth that digital odometers can't be compromised. But this video on YouTube shows how a simple program purchased online can plug right into the car's computer and turn back time. Are you serious? That was Virginia Hicks' reaction when the I-Team told her the 2002 Acura she was paying for had a lot more miles on it than she thought. The odometer read 157,000 miles when she bought it in March. But service records show it had 226,000 miles back in 2013. 226,000 miles. Wow. Wow. Walter Lewis thought he was buying this Honda Accord in March with 100,900 miles. But the Carfax report shows it had 187,000. Do you feel like you were cheated a little bit? Yeah, of course. The I-Team went to the dealer who sold Morgan her car looking for answers. While the reports indicate the rollback happened before the car landed on his lot, we wanted to know why he was selling a car with an odometer issue. The owner wouldn't talk to us on camera, but he tells us that he used a different vehicle history report when he bought the car at auction, and it didn't show any signs of an odometer rollback. After our visit, Morgan and the dealer worked out a settlement agreement that made both sides happy. As for Walter and Virginia, they're still trying to figure out how to resolve their rollback issues. This is my hard-earned work money. I worked for this money, so this is a problem. A problem for her and for thousands of other Massachusetts car owners who don't really know what they're driving. For the I-Team, Lauren Lemanchek, WBZ News.